Hi everyone and welcome to A Story of Light, a live stream musical journey in 19 days. Today is day two and if you're just watching for the first time today, you're very welcome. My name is Luke Slot. I'm a musician in Dublin and I mainly focus on setting to music, the Baha'i sacred writings. And uh, for the first 19 days of March, I'm, I'm doing this series of daily live streams in preparation for the release of my new album, Home of Light, which is coming out a bit later this year and is a collection of new songs based on the writings of Abdul Baha. And if you're not familiar with Abdul Baha, he was the son of Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith, and he's really cherished as a role model to Baha'is and friends around the world. And uh, 2021 marks the 100th anniversary of his passing, and so uh, hence the new album this year in his honour. So. Uh, if you missed yesterday's episode, uh, the, really the first episode of this of this musical journey, it, it's, it should be linked in the description below. Um, and uh, we looked at this uh, this peculiar period in in the the nineteenth century, when uh, various religious movements in the West had anticipated the return of Jesus Christ in the year 1844, only to watch the year roll by without witnessing any of the extraordinary, miraculous events that they had anticipated. But unbeknownst to them, at the very time that they were standing on the slopes of Mount Carmel in the Holy Land, gazing up into the heavens in anticipation, a young man in Persia made the staggering claim that he was the one that the people of the world were waiting for. And uh, uh, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, a couple of years ago I did a, a, a video series called The Gate of Heaven Video Diary, which really focused on the story of that young man known as the Bab. And that should be linked in the description below here as well if, if you want to check that out. And I just mentioned yesterday that, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to briefly recap a few of the major events from that story without without too much detail, um, because if you want to learn more about uh, the story of the Bab, you can uh, explore the Gate of Heaven diary in your in your own time. But I just think it's such an essential part of the story that I wanted to include some information about the Bab before moving on to other parts of the story. And uh, and so so just to pick things up from yesterday, at the time when when uh, when this young man. Uh, this 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 twenty four year old Persian youth made this this staggering claim. This was at a time when the messianic excitement that was sweeping through the Middle East in the nineteenth century um, had reached to such a pitch that that even special schools had been set up around the Middle East in places like Persia and Iraq with the express purpose of preparing people for the coming of the Promised One. And students were flocking from all over the Middle East to, to attend these special schools and to, to study all the signs and characteristics that their traditions said the Promised One would display. And when the leading teacher in the most prominent of these schools, was lying on his deathbed. He gathered his students around him, and he told them that the time had come for them to close their books and to go out into the world and search for the Promised One, assuring them that the Promised One was already in the world. And most of his students sat around idle, not really knowing what to do or where to go or how to start. But there was one particularly earnest young student whose name was Mullah Hussein, who, on, who immediately on hearing his teacher's dying wish, set out to search for the Promised One. And Mullah Hussein began traveling, really going wherever the dictates of his heart told him to go, wherever his intuition prompted him, he would go until eventually he felt himself drawn, almost as if like by a magnetic force, to the city of Shiraz in the south of Persia, a city which is famed for its architecture and its beauty, and perhaps above all, for its poets. And Mullah Hussein arrived at the gate of Shiraz on the evening of May 22nd, 
1844. And as he was standing, gathering his thoughts at the gate of the city, he noticed a young man in the distance, walking towards him, smiling at him. And this young man walked directly over to Mullah Hussein and embraced him and welcomed him to Shiraz, almost as if he were an old friend who had been expecting Mullah Hussein's arrival. And he insisted that Mullah Hussein come to his home and rest a little after his long journey. And Mullah Hussein was so uh, taken aback by the charm of this young man that he, he accepted the invitation and he went with him to his home. And the young man served him tea and he began to ask him about the nature of his travels. And Mullah Hussein said that he was, uh, he was a student of this great teacher in this special school. And he was fulfilling his teacher's dying wish. He was searching for the promised one. And the, this youth said to him, well, that's a, a momentous quest you're on. How will you ever know when you found him? And Mullah Hussein began to rattle off a whole list of signs and, and characteristics that his teacher had taught him uh, would, be, would be manifest in the promised one. He will do this and he will do that and he will be like this and he will be like that. And the young man carefully considered each of these signs that Mullah Hussein described. And to the great surprise of Mullah Hussein, the young man said to him, all these signs are manifest in me. And Mullah Hussein was shocked that this young man who was merely 24 years old, he was younger than him and who, who uh, had no special position or special authority, that he would dare to make such a, a presumptuous and arrogant suggestion. And Mullah Hussein began to challenge him, almost to the point of becoming a little bit rude to his young host. But what happened next left Mullah Hussein stunned in his seat. The young man stood up, picked up his pen, and began to write rapidly and speaking as he wrote and before began to unravel the great spiritual mysteries of the world the with, a, with a miracle the words just seemed to flow effortlessly out of his mind through his pen onto the page unpremeditated verse after verse after verse gushing out of him like a river of spontaneous poetic creativity and when he had finished writing the young man turned to Mullah Hussein and he said to him, I am the Bab, the gate of God, the promised one. And Mullah Hussein said that this, this declaration came down on him like a thunderbolt. He said he felt overwhelmed by the crushing force of what he was hearing. He felt like in that moment he was witnessing the end of an old world and the beginning of a new one. He wanted to run out into the streets and scream at the top of his lungs that he had found the promised one. But the young man said to him, don't go out, stay here. If you go out in this state, people will think you're drunk, if not crazy. Stay here and I will explain everything to you. And so Mullah Hussein sat there spellbound for hours into the night, listening to the Bab unfold the mysteries of the universe in verse after verse after verse of the sweetest poetry that Mullah Hussein had ever heard. And so for today's song, I'd like to sing for you some words of this young man known as the Bab, the Gate of God. Um, so if you're fasting today, I, I wish you, I hope you have a very good fast. And I hope that you'll join me tomorrow for day three of A Story of Light. This is called Promised One.
I am the mystic fame. I am the mystic fame, which the hand of omnipotence hath reared. I am the lamp which the finger of God hath lit within its niche and caused to shine with deathless splendor. I am the flame of that supernal light that glowed upon Sinai in the gladsome spot and lay concealed in the midst of the burning bush. I am, I am, I am the promised world. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am the one whose name you have for a thousand years invoked, at whose mention you have risen, whose advent you have longed to witness, and the hour of whose revelation you have prayed God to hasten. One. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am the promised one. I am, I am, I am. Promised one.